For Wall Street Media, I'm Mike, I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you won't find anywhere else. Hey, my friend, I like all this for this new information, right? And yeah. boy, we're gonna, you're going to get your money's worth next week. I think we're doing 2,000 CEOs next week. Yeah, absolutely. M maybe more. Um, so we're going to give you oodles. Right now, guys, uh, buy, uh, look into ATVI. I've been telling you to buy it. Buy it. Watch some of the shows. I'll tell you why. Um, Yahoo is an amazing one. I own a bunch of Yahoo right mm -hmm. now, right? Um, and this morning they said they're going to put themselves up for sale. They're waiting for Microsoft, right? Right. And it's just like I, they're only up. They're up fifty cents, right? I don't know what's happening with that. Uh, I think people are just waiting. You know, they're waiting for the answer from Microsoft because they're afraid Microsoft will say, "Oh, you know what? You gave us the finger the last time." Yeah. <laughs> I think. Well, I think it would be smart for Bomber to do right. And Bomber's right. a super smart guy. I love him. Um, and, and he's I, also a guy that doesn't forget, you know. He, uh, he I wouldn't remembers forget. It. I wouldn't forget. <laughs> yeah, I you wouldn't know, either. Uh, you know, th they were rotten and nasty to it. Right. Instead of being welcoming and saying, like, wow, we're going to go with a successful company mm -hmm. since we're such dismal failures. And try to cheat. Oh, I know you didn't say 33. Right. And, yeah. Mm. They, yeah. They really <laughs> behaved badly. And maybe Bomber <laughs> let him squirm for a little while. Yeah, maybe. And he should. I mean. and, and he should. <laughs> Absolutely. God bless Microsoft. We <laughs> love you. Um, and you're going to own Yahoo soon enough. It's just a matter of what price. Yeah. Make it a high price. I own a bunch of it, you know, but not too high. I own a bunch of Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good. You know, Good job. That short, will help anyone now. I need my short-term <laughs> gain in Yahoo, right? And then I need my long-term gain for Microsoft, okay? <laughs> okay, let's try to make it so. Well, actually, we have uh, a couple of notes from the Bank Analyst Association of Boston. That's a tongue twister, actually. Um, the uh, URL, if you want to listen to all these presentations, is wsw.com slash webcast slash B-A-A-B number eight. Rockstar Gerard Cassidy. I've known him for eight years. He's good friends with my friend Kate Fletcher, who was uh, a Wall Street banking superstar, right? And Gerard, he is king of the known universe for bank analysts, and this is his conference. He's super smart, polished, eloquent, sophisticated, nice guy, mm -hmm. right? And he's smart enough, he stays out of the fray and is up in Maine, <laughs> you know? Um, but he's got all the banks together for today and tomorrow. This is like the big yeah. banking event for the year. Gerard Cassidy's like Elvis or Mick Jagger of like bank analysis, mm -hmm. right? He is the guy, and this is his conference. And you can listen to all of these presentations as well. Um, the link to those presentations is wsw.com slash webcast slash baab8. Well, first up, we have a video. Uh, Stephen Fredkin, um, EVP and CFO on, of Northern Trust, tickers NTRS, spoke of the key elements that position them well today despite the economic downturn. They provide asset servicing, asset management, and banking services through two highly targeted distribution channels, personal financial services, corporate and institutional financial services. Yeah? Yeah? Let's take a look. OK, here we go. Now, building on this notion of great growth businesses, let me start with our private client segment. Personal Financial Services, or PFS, is the 119-year heritage of Northern Trust, dating back to our founding in 1889. From our footprint of 85 financial centers in 18 states, we are in close proximity to over 50% of U.S. millionaire households. No other competitor has as broad and focused a footprint serving the wealthy as Northern Trust. On the right side of this slide, you can also see that the markets we serve are very attractive, high gro a very attractive high growth segment of the U.S. population. Affluent households are growing seven to 15 times faster than the U.S. population. Clearly, these demographic trends present large and very attractive opportunities for Northern Trust. In addition, the flight to quality phenomenon we have seen, particularly in recent quarters, is yet another dimension adding to the already significant opportunities in this business. Now let me move to the notion of expertise. PFS has the most comprehensive array of integrated financial solutions available to our target market offering customized services to affluent individuals and families. We are positioned to serve our private clients across their life cycle, a position driven by the breadth of our financial solutions that we can deliver seamlessly. The depth of product array, integration, and experience 
truly differentiates Northern Trust from many other firms targeting the affluent marketplace, who might specialize in one product area or another, but cannot navigate the linkages or offer the breadth of expertise that we can. All right, well, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, you like this one, right? Absolutely. I mean, uh, he said they are catering to, uh, they're in close proximity to 50% of the millionaire households. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's nasty. I, right? I thought they were all over no, the US. You know, I think it higher seems end, to be. Higher end. Yeah. They're in sp specific locations and they are targeting those. Right. And he's saying those households are growing eight, uh, seven to 15 times faster than the average household. Yeah, of I mean, that's. They are. <laughs> of takes money to make money. <laughs> <laughs> we have another note. Um, Greg Smith, SVP and uh, a CFO of Marshalls and Isley, uh, tickers MI, spoke about the company's focus on construction and devel development and of their wealth management business, which will grow and continue to be strong as a recent acquisition with Florida-based TCH was successful. I'll tell you something. If you invest in banks or if you just like to know what's happening with banks, you should listen to this conference. Um, Gerard Cassidy's great, and he does a great intro and gives, gives you a little bit of information about it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then they know that he knows everything about the business, right? So they're doing a pretty good question and answer session for each one of the sessions that I listen to, mm -hmm. and you still have another day of these, yeah. right? I like the guy from Northern Trust. I thought he made a good, solid presentation. Yeah, I think so too. And he sounds like a sensible, logical uh, uh, manager of money. Mm -hmm. You know? They're all getting squeezed a little bit, of course, in these times. But yeah, but I mean, they're still fairly strong. Yeah. They're st in this environment, they're still fairly strong. Right. And we've got BB&T tomorrow, <laughs> uh, who I love. <laughs> BB&T are my favorite. They are just the smartest and the most elegant bankers Southern in the bank. world. <laughs> yep, yep. I, I love them. You well, know? well, we're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at wsmco.com. Thanks. <laughs>